I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. IT departments have a simple goal provide easy access to their employees to work applications from any device. But that simple goal becomes complicated when old and new applications don't authenticate in the same manner. Users may receive time-consuming and confusing logon prompts along the way. Well, F5 and VMware have a solution to provide single sign-on to legacy applications. Now, this is important because Gartner recognizes that providing anytime, anywhere policies boosts productivity. So let's light this up. So we have our employee out here, and they can have a mobile device, they can have their laptop, or even be in the office with their desktop. Now say they wanna to go to some cloud applications, a SaaS application, a mobile app, or just any application in the cloud. So they would hit their, what's called the VIDM, which is essentially VMware's identity manager. And it's part of the Workspace ONE suite. Now Workspace ONE includes things like AirWatch and Horizon View, and it's considered an IDP an identity provider. And so in this instance, uh, identity manager, VMware's identity manager will authenticate the user via SAML. They'll then send that SAML, A -M -L, that SAML assertion, we'll put new to the cloud, and it'll be, you know, SaaS, mobile, etc. So they send the SAML assertion, the SAML token um, to the SaaS application, letting it know this is who they say they are and they gain access to these certain applications. And once that occurs, then the user gets access to those cloud applications. But what happens when a legacy application that wasn't written for the cloud will probably never go to the cloud and is also not SAML enabled? See, many legacy applications that we've come to know and love authenticate with either Kerberos constrained delegation or header based authentication via the browser. And so what happens in this instance when it doesn't support SAML there? Well, this is where big IP comes into play. So let's draw ourselves one of them pretty big IP. And in this instance, it's Big IP Access Policy Manager, APM. And so in this instance, let's also say this is a firewall. And this right here is the network perimeter. And so in this instance, um, the identity manager will again check the user, authenticate the user, validate they are who they say they are. And then they would then send that SAML assertion over to the Big IP Access Policy Manager. Now, in any SAML transaction, you have your identity provider, the voucher, and then your service provider, the, the location where the, the services, the applications, the resources live. And so it sends the SAML assertion over to, to Big IP APM. Now, Big IP, this is the cool part. This is where the magic happens. Big IP Access Policy Manager will translate, will translate that SAML token, that SAML assertion into either a Kerberos constrained delegation auth or a header based auth, depending upon the legacy applications requirements send that there, probably have a, typically another firewall right here. And then once that happens, it's kind of the same mechanisms. These old legacy applications, they're verified, they're authenticated. And once that um, happens, and then the service comes back through the Big IP Access Policy Manager, the proxy, and then delivered to the employee. 
Now, this is really cool because you can still have that same identity provider doing the SAML assertion, but in instances where, for instance, the Kerberos constrained delegation and the header based auth, those instances that don't support SAML, you can still then gain access via the browser to these legacy applications in a single solution. Now, the other cool piece, of course, is that all of these old legacy applications, the employee, the user doesn't get direct access to those applications. It's all handled through the big IP proxy, protecting those applications on the back end. So there you have it, a light board lesson on how big IP, specifically F5 and VMware, can provide single sign-on to all of your applications, old or new, cloud-based or data center legacy-based. If you like this video, check out our other videos. You can subscribe to YouTube. I'm Peter, and we'll see you in the community. Thanks for watching.